I don't want to hear anybody complain. There was a time when you had to do this to roll your window down. We got it good. Hi, y'all, fellow. My name is Johnny. This is No Lab Code Required, and this exists because the stuff that makes us healthier should not be confusing, false, or exclusively for people in lab coats. And it's time to get rid of the scale and get yourself some measuring tape. There's nothing wrong with the scale as a tool. It does what it's supposed to do. It weighs what's put on top of it. But that's the problem. It weighs all of you. So that number that shows up on the scale is accounting for everything: bone, water, organs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Is is it etc. or etc.? Along with everything else, most notably the scale measures fat and muscle, and to a certain degree we're able to control how much we have of each, which makes fat and muscle the main focus. The distinction between the two is a big deal, a massive deal, a make you think differently about weight loss kind of deal. This is a fat cell. I couldn't find any decent pictures on the internet. so I. I, I drew on myself. This is it, this is fat. This is what is causing all the ruckus. Well, it's, it's more like an army of these that's causing all of the problems. But look how simple this is. If I asked a five-year-old to draw a fat cell, I imagine it wouldn't look much differently than this. But there's a reason it's so simple. This is a drawing channel now. It's primarily a storage unit. It's just a little glob that soaks up and holds energy. Guess what loves that energy? Muscle. Muscle could test some energy up. You know when you real hungry and you eating at the crib alone? Now, I'm not going to try to draw a muscle cell. Actually, I am going to try. We're drawing today. You heard of mitochondria being the powerhouse of the cell? If you haven't, then the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. And muscle is laden with mitochondria because muscle is highly metabolically active. Energy reserves are literally carried from the fat cell and burned and used by the muscle. In other words, fat directly fuels the activity of our muscles. This is major information because we can gain or lose muscle when we actually need muscle to lose fat. So why do we need the tape measure? Because muscle is more dense than fat. What does this mean? This means that if you took some muscle and you took some fat and they took up the same amount of space, then muscle would be heavier than fat. The tape measure then becomes essential because we won't necessarily weigh less as we put on more muscle. Also, a pound of muscle takes up less space than a pound of fat. So you can become smaller but not necessarily lose weight. And if you really bout it, you can just eyeball it. Like, no scale, no nothing. Just take a mirror picture every week and see the progress for yourself. Now, this conversation raises an important question. Do I need more muscle or do I just need to use my muscle more? Now, I'm not gonna answer that right now because people don't watch long videos. 50% of y'all already clicked off this one. On top of that, I'm tired of talking. Give this joint a like if you got some value out of it and I'm gonna get up out y'all way.